As the leader of a business, your values shape every element of the company. But what kind of values are you presenting? Do you care about order, structure, and consistency? Or do your priorities revolve around relationships, culture, and the environment that you work in? Getting it wrong can be disastrous, so it's crucial that your values are not only consistent, but aligned with both your team and the company's mission statement. So what are some of the reasons you need to spend time on your values? Welcome to Scaling for Success. We're all about helping businesses grow profitably, scale, and move to the next level. If you're looking for consultancy and mentorship that really makes a difference, subscribe to our channel or visit the Scaling Management Group website. Links in the description below. In today's video, we're discussing the importance of making sure that your values are aligned with your work to make sure there's no conflicts. In a sense, your values are one of the most important things about you. They describe what's important, they act as a foundation for your beliefs, and can act as a script for how you live your life day to day. It can be hard to notice them, with most of your values probably being subconscious, for better or worse. It's still vital, however, that you try to navigate your way around them, so you can control them and align them with your business goals. Here are just some of the ways that your values can affect your work. They can either energize or conflict with your work. Any business owner will preach to you the importance of harmony. Every system within your company should complement each other, without any rotten eggs that can spoil the whole omelet. It's easy to treat your values as separate from these systems, but in truth, they're the foundation for all of them. You're the head of the operation, the big bad wolf, and what you say goes. So if there's a big disparity between how you feel and what you say, you may find that things don't work out as well as you want them to. Say you value trust to a high regard. It'd be natural for you to try and garner trust both from and for your employees. But what happens if you don't? You may notice that your work could suffer, potentially without you even realizing why. Thus, it's crucial that you dedicate time to understanding your values and how you can align your business with them. On the flip side, if you create a workplace that encourages trust between co-workers, you may find that you may feel more at ease in the office and can have far more energetic and productive work days. They define your leadership style. It's no surprise that people who value authenticity lead in an authentic way. Conversely, someone who doesn't value authenticity runs the risk of appearing disingenuous. Consider the type of leader you want to be. What would work best for your business? A common trend throughout all great leaders in the past is self-awareness. Self-awareness is the ability to self-reflect and develop an intimate understanding of one's core values and belief systems. With this knowledge, you're able to assess and align your actions, thoughts, and emotions with your core values and lead with empathy and understanding. In turn, this further develops your external self-awareness so that you can understand how your words or actions are affecting the people around you, as well as how you're perceived by others. A leader who lacks this self-awareness runs the dangerous risk of having an inconsistent and spontaneous leadership style, provoking their employees to follow suit with a lack of direction in their work. It's vital that you fully examine yourself and your leadership style. How do your values influence the way that you lead your company, and is it working for the better? It's entirely possible that you may need to completely reevaluate your values in order to lead your company better, and that's completely okay. Your personal life and business life may not get along. Say you value both success and time with your family. You may notice that to fulfill your first goal, you're gonna have to work some long hours, which can seriously impact the second goal. It's not to say both values can't be satisfied, but when your business life intrudes on your personal life, you either have to compromise or reassess. When you notice this kind of discord between your two lives, you may start to explore your values and consider if they're only being honored in one part of your life. This can seriously impact your mental health. Limiting how satisfied you can be in your daily life can be detrimental to you both as a person and a business leader. Become aware of what you truly value most and consider how you can fulfill those values in both aspects of your life to avoid having any dissonance. Work relationships can be impacted Anybody who's ever had an intense discussion with the family at the dinner table understands that a conflict in values can lead to some straining of otherwise great relationships. An employee who values privacy might be distressed by you constantly probing them about their life or keeping constant surveillance of their cubicle. 
but they can be appreciative if you take an active approach to making sure they're comfortable while they're at work. Therefore, it's crucial that you, as a leader, have a deep understanding of what your employees value most. While you don't have to lie or reshape your entire value system just to appease them, you should be mindful of what can seriously upset them or make them uncomfortable. Businesses grow the best when both you and your lower level employees are satisfied and working in harmony. As the business leader, it's invaluable for you to try and accommodate for your workers' different values, whether personal or work-related. Unfulfilled desires can seriously stress you out. If you value financial security, you might start to worry if your business isn't performing as well as you'd hoped. A common issue with a lot of leaders nowadays is that they lack a holistic understanding of exactly why they feel stressed at work. This is due to a lack of self-awareness, meaning they don't have a good grasp on their values and so can't pinpoint what the root cause of their stress is. Stress on its own can be difficult to deal with and work through, and having it seemingly come out of nowhere can be even more devastating. Burying your head in the sand will only serve to exacerbate the problem and can eventually lead to work burnout. If you do know what's giving you grief, it can assist you with solving the problem, so you can work with a clearer head. The decisions you make are influenced by your values more than you think. You chose this job for a reason. I know that may seem obvious, but do you really know the reason? Could you confidently identify what it is about your role that was so attractive to you, ignoring the impressive paycheck? The truth is, the roles we end up in and the decisions we make to get there are influenced significantly by our personal values. Should you give your employees more maternity leave than what's standard in the industry? Well, that depends on how much you personally value family. These values can affect your judgment in ways that aren't desirable. Sometimes you need to be able to ignore your impulsive emotional instincts and consider situations with a purely rational and unbiased head. The best way to ignore these emotional influences is to first be aware of them. So it's crucial that you dedicate time to understanding yourself and your subconscious values. Values are a part of us. In a way, they define every aspect of the way we live our lives. Sometimes they can be of great benefit to us, ensuring that leaders value altruism and care for their employees instead of treating them as exploitable assets. Other times, however, values serve no other purpose besides stressing us out and impacting our workflow. As a leader, it's crucial that you understand the deepest aspects of your subconscious so that you're able to navigate around your values and know how they affect you on a day-to-day -day basis. That's all we have time for in today's video, That's a Bad Fit, Why You Need to Spend Time on Your Values. Like this video if you found it helpful, and for more content just like this, subscribe to our channel or visit the Scaling Management Group website at scalinggrp.com.